Okay, people. Um, this new topic is being friends with your exes. I really hate it, um, but what, I want to know what y'all's opinion is, and then I'm going to tell you mine. Well, I already know what Jordan thinks. And I know what Adam thinks. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and what do you think? Uh, I'm agnostic about it. I mean, I, I have positive relationships with exes, but I don't go so far as being in a situation where we're communicating on a consistent basis. Example, happy birthday, happy new year. That's there we go. That's appropriate. That, that, that's appropriate. That, yes. I think that's yeah, I mean, a healthy you know, example. Good that's, job, Byron. That, yeah. That's very healthy yeah. of you. But it's but positive. See, it's not bitter. Here's the problem, all yeah. right? Here's the problem. You get these women that are so naive, right? And I'm not speaking to anybody directly, but <clears throat> you know they don't understand that every man wants to have sex with you. That's the bottom line. Is that line. true, Byron? No. I don't want to have sex with everyone. No, I don't think so. Do you want to have sex with everybody, Adam? <laughs> so you were saying, okay, seriously. No, but, but here's the problem. <laughs> if, if I meet a girl and she's got her exes and she wants to stay deeply engaged with them, she wants to go out with them, hang out with them, do activities that they used to do, that's a red flag. What Byron was saying, you know, that's a healthy way of dealing with exes. But the problem is, is that some women, they want to hold on to those relationships. And I see it kind of as either a backup plan or a back burner type thing. And I think it's destructive. I think it destroys relationships and it's no good. So do you want whoever you're dating to have no contact other than happy new year, happy birthday, no other contact. So if that person comes in town, no lunch, no dinner, nothing. Correct. Correct. Okay. Well, I mean, I'm pro friends with exes. I have some very healthy, healthy friendships with my exes. I don't deeply engage them in conversation. There's no emotional attachment. There's no, there's no conversation about what was. For you. Right. But, or for them. I mean, we just don't have those kind of conversations. Do you know that? They don't happen with me. I know that for sure. Right. You You don't have those feelings. But what you don't understand is that he is tempted to misinterpret you at times. Well, I you, guarantee okay, you it. raise a good point. If a, so it's not wrong if a person has the feelings if they don't act on the feelings. You know, there are a lot of people, I'm sure you see some of your exes that you have feelings for, but you don't act on them. And Why would you go okay. play in traffic, though? But if, if, if the feelings aren't expressed, I don't see it as playing in traffic. If okay. these people are texting me saying, I love you, I want okay. you, I don't see it as plain. Okay, okay. Let me put it. Let me let me give you my opinion. Um, no, no. Your ex is. If I'm dating you, your ex should not call you on your birthday. No holiday. <laughs> <laughs> because that's your past. You learn from your past and you move on. If you still hurting, you still want that person attached to you. That means you still have a connection with you with that uh, individual. But I think, but, no. but I think we're doing no. two different things because I think on one hand you're saying I don't want you to have any contact, but then on the other hand you're saying if you want that person attached to you, if you, I'm not even talking about that level of being unhealthy. Well, know? this is the reason why a lot of women say there's no good men out there is because they're still attached to their exes. So there's still what 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 I truly believe is you got to let them go before you move on to the next relationship. If you have not let go of any relationship and you're still friends with them, you you're you're gonna still harbor on all those bad things in your past and you're gonna That's hurt that true. that is true, it's true. true. It is true, it's so true. How? How? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna I'm gonna shut up. I'm gonna shut well, up okay, because so- I might get slapped. No. I don't want to get slapped right now. <laughs> So let me ask you a question. Out of the people that you dated, haven't you dated among them some really good people that are just good people? Oh, yeah. That yes, sometimes sure. you realize maybe you really weren't meant to be in a relationship, right. but you're a good person. And right. so you have a better friendship than you do did a relationship. Yeah. You don't think that's possible to, yeah. to, to no. realize? Absolutely, that yeah. There, there are different extremes no. in different situations. No. Greg says and no. Greg, no. I mean, obviously has been in some negative situations. Right. But well, I think, my whole thing is I want you for me. I don't want you and all I, your exes. I in understand, that. but I'm now right now. I don't want to know about what you did 10 years, what your man, your ex boyfriend did to you. That's another subject. But it's still, I'm just saying, it's still the same thing because when you're sitting there and you're talking to her and she's still like, oh, there's no good men out there and she's bringing up all her exes, 
that and then she wants to be friends with them. Yeah. So the okay, woman, so the woman you're dating is telling you that there's I'm no good men out nobody. there. I'm not dating nobody. I'm single. No, 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 no. no. In, in this, in this scenario, no, no, no. Listen, in, in this scenario, you're saying the woman is telling you that there's no good men out there. Well, there's a lot of women that are saying that. Well, you shouldn't date them to begin yeah, with before you if, get yeah. to the point of women. Well, look, married. here's my point. I'm sorry, Jordan, but we got to wrap this up. Mm-hmm. And I think we should do it with some statistics. Let's look at the record and see what the record well, has record, to by. say. Okay. That's well, I have I have a statistic about technology and its influence on dating and exes. And so it seems to be that because of social media, it has allowed people to kind of stay linked in to their significant others of the past. Mm-hmm. They're saying on Facebook, 59% of people will remain Facebook friends with an ex after they've broken up. And 48%, including 42% of married folks, say they look at their ex's Facebook or other social networking websites. So that could be a catalyst to some of these issues that we're seeing popping up. It's just a reminder. Each and every day, you're seeing their face, you're seeing their comments pop up. So maybe maybe if we unplug from the web, you know, that may be the it may be the first step. Right. I mean, yeah. So what I'm saying is, even though you don't want your friend to be your your girl to be tied to her ex, statistics show she probably is. So trying to take a human's freedom from them is only going to push them to do things that they probably shouldn't do. So I mean, the good thing is that you know we represent our viewers. Some people agree, some people don't. Some people are adamantly against it. But we have to find what's healthy, and I think the key is to communicate your mm-hmm. expectation to the other person yes. mm-hmm. and let them communicate their expectation back to you because you may find early on that it just won't work, and it's better to make that decision to cut it off sooner right. rather than to try to do it later. So we want our viewers have this conversation with the person you're dating. Find out where they stand because that can come back to bite you later in the end. And statistics show it's an important issue, so we want to make sure you address it head on. Thanks. So, okay, Adam would survive. I know. <laughs> so, I mean, on the crew.